Hey guys, it's Gary Wong from Gary Wong Realty again, and we are at location with Mimi. Hi guys. From Honey Bee Development Group, and we're gonna check out one of her homes that she is building. Let's go check it out. All right. Let's go see. Okay, so uh, <coughs> this has this is not a clean site. This yep. is as raw and uh, mm -hmm. real as it gets with building. So yesterday we had the siding guys finish yep. the gables. As you mm -hmm. can see, the soffit lights aren't in yet. Okay. So we have siding everywhere on the lot right now. So okay. all of that's going to go into the garbage dump. Um, we're trying to minimize as much waste as we can. So what I'm doing today is kind of trying to salvage some pieces. Mm -hmm. If I can use them, I'll try to recycle. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so... Gotcha. How big is this lot? This lot is 100 by 70, okay. 7,000 square feet, Ooh. and the house is 4,700 square feet. Wow. So uh, craftsman style, I guess. Um, modern farmhouse, that's what most people like these days. Okay. The duct tape on the soffit lights is because it's nesting season for birds. Ah. Nest. So we're leaving a few spaces for them. Mm -hmm. Just let them have their babies and do their thing because the last thing I want to do is trap their babies inside the house. That's right. Don't mess with their babies. Yeah, exactly. Cool. It's right across from the school too. It is. It is. It's a great area. Very hard to find rental in this area. <coughs> Montessori um, Elementary School, so everybody okay. seems to want to come. Okay, cool. So you go in the front door. Check it out. Keep your shoes on. Yep, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, double height entry. Um, it's pretty, Ooh. it's a pretty, um, I wanted to go with a clean modern, yeah. but um, very practical layout. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, people it's the know office. This, this is the office. Yeah. Here in the future, you and I can come exactly. here. Exactly. Lots of natural light. Um, a little service room, so the server is going to be here. Oh, okay. Server, um, low voltage, okay. whatnot. Okay. A little powder room here. We just set the oh, that's time cute. last way. They just went home, so. Okay. Yeah, tiny, tiny. Nice. So one thing we did with the house, um, <clears throat> Was we kept the ceilings at nine feet okay. in order to raise the house so the basement is, there's more daylight in the basement. Ah, so, okay. You know, That's if, unique. If parents want to come live with us. Otherwise it would have been what, 10, 10, 10 and 8 or 11 or, something? or you, you know, usually 10, 8 or 9 is yeah. the standard, but mm -hmm. then most people want 11 foot ceilings. Yeah. But we're kind of going with the neighborhood where it's homey or it's very yeah. family oriented. I didn't yeah. want a castle on yeah, the street. For sure. When you drove by, like you could see, right? It's just. You wanted to blend in. Yes, exactly. For sure, yeah. for sure. Um, again, I don't want to attract too much attention. <laughs> Low profile. Uh, yes, exactly. Low profile. Exactly. Um, natural pine boards, pine uh -huh. roof. Again, going with the shiplap um, modern farmhouse kind of theme. Mm -hmm. People want. People are saying to just leave it natural. Because initially okay. the plan was to keep it, um, you know, to, to whitewash it with a stain. That would or be to the paint living white. room. What do you think? Yeah, living room, TV, TV wall. Yeah. Um, all the conduits and the wiring is in there. And this is the dining the room. The oh, the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So island here. Open concept. Open concept. Nice. And nice. then dining room. Dining room. Yeah. Okay. All open concept. Dining room. And the deck. Big messy deck. That's all right. Um, <coughs> with, uh, and then the access to the basement is right mm -hmm. underneath this deck. Nice. Right here. And then a little bar right okay. here for wine. Nice. Nice wine. Um, extra storage space for vacuums and brooms. Okay. Uh, Would that be like the pantry? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. Uh, access to the basement. So there's a Ooh. one bedroom suite on this side, okay. which is for upstairs, yep. and then there's a two bedroom legal suite. And suite. this, this would is be a the study area. Study area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the thought process is you come in from the garage. Mm -hmm. This is the mud room with mm -hmm. the, you know, the lockers, wash your sticky feet, and then put all. Interesting. The there's a 
There's a dog wash. Oh, so it's a wow. dog wash slash foot wash because anybody who has kids knows after going to the beach, mm -hmm. you do not let them in the house. Wow. That is cool. So this is the other entrance to the backyard. Yep. Mm -hmm. Also, after playing in the backyard, you want them to wash their feet right away. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Oh, and that's part of the other home, right? Yeah, yeah, that's part of okay. the other house. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. So the dog the wash. The that dog is wash. cool. Yeah. I've never seen that in. Oh, well, I've actually seen it, but not that common. No, it's not. Oh. But I mean, if you don't have a dog, it's for feet. Mm -hmm. And, and this is the garage. Yeah, this is a super high garage. Wow. It's fourteen feet wow. high or something. Okay. So in the future, um, you know, you can hang bikes, you can hang, um, it's a work in progress. Did you put in a smart garage? Like uh, one of those yes. ones where you can kind of, like the ones that you can like uh, close with your smartphone? Yes. That's yeah. pretty cool. That, I think that's pretty standard these days and all the new garage doors. And but I get, yeah, it is pretty standard, quiet. but I haven't seen people actually use them. Like oh, on their, okay. on their I mean, phones. Like, it's just harder to program with yeah. your phone. Yeah. But you, like, I mean, you just, you don't really need to because we have a keypad outside and then mm -hmm, you have mm -hmm. the remote controls. Cool. So I guess that's why people don't use it. But yeah, they're, they come Saturn. Um, that's about it. I'll take you upstairs. Let's go. The pink you see on the walls mm -hmm. is where they patched up the drywall. Okay. And so why is it pink? It's because when they come back next time, they'll know exactly where to sat. So what happens is the guys take a light Yep. And they shine all across the drywall and they look for little nicks. Because, you know, okay. when, you, when you touch it or when you're moving stuff around, you can see it. So this is not, yep. this is prime. And then they patch up all the nicks. They'll come back in two mm -hmm. days when it's dry. They'll sand all the places that are pink. And then mm -hmm. we'll paint again. They'll scrutinize with the light one more time. So we do this process about three or four times. Cool. Just to make sure the drywall is perfect. Nice. Because like what happens if people don't do that? Well, it just, it, you know what, it's just going to bother like? you. On a nice day like this, if you're looking against the light, yeah. you're going to see these waves. Like these bumps see, and stuff? Yeah, you'll see the imperfections underneath mm. or where mm. the drywall was joint with a piece of tape mm -hmm. and a little mound that goes on top because the light is very unforgiving. Okay. And so this way, we just want to make sure that you know it doesn't bother <laughs> the person yeah. looking at it. And this, this is... is the Room. Laundry room. Um, we put it upstairs because I don't like moving laundry up and down. For stairs, sure, for sure. Right? That's the AC unit. AC? That's the HRV. So oh, the HRV nice. AC, is HRV. the ventilation. Radiant heating, I'm assuming. Radiant heating, yes. All throughout? Yes, Whoa. all three floors. So. Are we having glass? Is it going to be. There's no specific. There's no railing going in, right? Yeah. Or There will be a railing. Okay. Going in. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, this is pretty standard these days. I mean, yeah, yeah. The nice sunshine, naturally. Mm -hmm. A nice view, which that's why we it put is. another window here. Because, uh, can I get it on the light, right? Yes, of course. And then a Jack and Jill bathroom. So Jack and Jill. The, the honeycomb tiling. Of course. Your signature. We have to put that in. Your signature. Your trademark. This piece of insulation. Shower niche. So when you're looking at showers, that's waterproof drywall. Waterproof drywall. Okay. And I'm assuming they all like everyone puts waterproof drywall. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. There's a couple of different types of waterproof drywall. This kind specifically is one of the more expensive kinds okay yeah what happens if you choose the cheap stuff well i mean it's it's still okay but it okay. Al also depends on how you waterproof after the yeah. drywall goes in <clears throat> and then how you tile too so yeah. there's again at the end of the day you don't want any moisture going behind the walls because yeah. the mold will exactly you know, everything will rot my favorite is the shower niche oh well, thank you um <laughs> You know, so waterproofing for everything outside, inside yeah. is a science. Like the building envelope mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. the most important thing yeah. in a building 
But uh, there's just so many steps. It's not just nice. drywall or just tile. Cool. Is this this not the this isn't the master? No, right? no. This is so just Chuck and Jill. This is the kids room. Kids room. Have a little. Um, I don't know, these days they call it a second master. Okay. There's only one master yeah. in the house. Yeah, I know Why some, do you need a second master? Some people call it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this one has a little ensuite with a shower. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. What's, what goes here? That's a shop. That's just a built-in shop. Ah, okay. So okay. we're going to finish it with some nice wood. Okay. It looks pretty rough right now, but uh, because the size of this bathroom <clears throat> doesn't allow enough storage space. I see. So I asked the guys after the fact to cut out a niche in the drywall mm -hmm. because between the studs it's wasted space. That's right. That's so then smart. we can put, you know, bottles, toothbrush, so it I doesn't see. have to fall into the into the toilet on the mm. other side. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this one should start. Yes, um, for sure. Now you'll see that there's that looks really rough. Mm -hmm. There's a big crack right there, right? Okay. That's called an expansion joint. Okay. So that's where two drywall pieces, uh, basically drywall will expand and contract with okay. weather, and so we have to leave that joint out so the drywall doesn't buckle. Okay. Extreme temperature. So this is the master. Ooh, vaulted ceilings. Yes. Yeah, ceilings. Give it some variation, like right? This. And that's the bathtub. That's the freestanding bathtub. Freestanding tub. Pull out the tile. <laughs> Sorry, you had to pull out the tile? Oh, no, no, we, the bathtub was here. We oh, have to okay. pull it out to tile, then we're going to place it back. I on see. Finishing. Walk in, shower. There will be a shower, that's bathtub, shower and then we'll bath, dual vanity. Dual vanity. And then your toilet. Mm -hmm. I see. Nice, nice, nice. And then just a pretty standard walk in closet. Walk in space. Ooh. Okay. It's pretty spacious. What do you do with this little area here? It's going to be kind of a linen. linen ah, I see. Some shelves for okay. pillows. Okay. And like okay. big, big fluffy items. Cool. And then cool. you've got your little linen closet outside for. The other rooms to share. Alright. Yeah, should I take you down? Yes, sure. Um, 